Hi everyone, welcome back to Ground Haven Homestead. Today I am going to be harvesting some broccoli and cooking it up, and this is not just any broccoli. This is the lone survivor from the brassicure from the spring, and I am so excited to pick it and cook it up tonight. It looks really good. The crown has formed really nicely, and it's a good sized broccoli. I'm glad that we had one surviving plant that we're able to harvest, even though all of its brothers and sisters sadly died. And here is a look at the broccoli I'm going to be picking today. It is a really nice, beautiful size. The variety of this one is Green Magic. And just for comparison, here are some of the broccoli transplants that I had to plant a couple of weeks later. These were starts that I got from a local nursery. This one is quite a bit smaller, probably only a few inches across. And it's already looking like this is going to be as big as it gets. You can see that the florets are kind of starting to loosen up even though the head is not that big. Whereas the green magic, you can tell that the florets are super tight in here. On the sides, they're a little bit looser. The older they get, the looser the florets get because eventually they will flower. And I'll have to find the name of the variety that I got from the local nursery. I'll put it up on the screen. It's another hybrid variety, but I think this just confirms that Green Magic is really the winner for broccoli for me. It just forms such beautiful big heads and it just does really well for us in our area. Here is another head developing from one of the transplants. And again, this one's kind of smaller, but it's it just doesn't look as tightly formed as the Green Magic. And who knows, they could get a lot bigger before they start to look like they're gonna flower. I'm definitely gonna let these guys go longer and we'll just see how big they get. So those are not going to be picked today. So yeah, this one, to be honest, it really doesn't have to be picked today. It could probably go at least a few more days, maybe up to a week based on like how fresh and nice it looks. There's like not any urgent need to pick this. I'm just picking it because I want to cook it today and I'm really excited to eat it for dinner. And I'm gonna show you the meal we're gonna have with it. So let me go ahead and just pick this now. Try and get as much of the stem as possible because I do like the stem of the broccoli. absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy with this one survivor. If I had it my way, I would have a lot more of these broccoli plants to harvest this spring. I think I had planted out 12 plants of this variety of broccoli, and this is the only one that survived after the voles came and ate all of the transplants. So we're just kind of taking an L for the spring and we're gonna try again in the fall. But yeah, this one's definitely a winner. And I'm not going to pull out this plant right now because I'm actually going to harvest all of these leaves to eat as well this week. Um, that's gonna be another video that I'm gonna do next and I'm gonna show you how I cook them up. But these leaves are looking really beautiful. Since I had these plants covered for a lot of the spring, there's not a lot of caterpillar damage. So the leaves are looking beautiful, not a lot of holes in them, and they are great for eating. So I'm going to be cooking those up later in the week, and I'm going to be showing that to you. So I'm gonna leave this plant here for now. And I also am going to go pick some garlic chives right now for another thing for dinner. And then I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be cooking tonight.
So tonight for dinner for the broccoli, I'm just going to be doing a very simple grilled broccoli. I just chopped it up and I added some olive oil, salt, pepper, fresh garlic, as well as garlic powder. And it's gonna be really simple, but that's the best way to have super fresh veg. And I think it's gonna be delicious. The last few times I've cooked up this fresh broccoli, it was so good. The texture was amazing, super fresh and crisp. And the broccoli was really sweet as well. I definitely hadn't considered growing homegrown broccoli for the first few years of gardening because it's pretty easy to get from the store. But I have to say like the quality difference between homegrown and store-bought is so drastic that it's one of my favorite things to grow in the garden now even though it takes up a lot of space I think it is well worth it so along with the grilled broccoli since I'm going to be outside I am also going to be doing some fried fish and if you watched our last H Mart vlog and haul we had gotten this box of salted croaker and we have just loved it so much I'm kind of regretting that we didn't get like three boxes of this because we're almost done with this one um, so this fish comes in these individual packets with two fish each which is perfect for me and Aaron and they're kind of on the small side which is really nice because they are great to just pull out 20 or 30 minutes before dinner and I can just soak it in some water and they'll be ready to cook and they defrost really quickly so I've been really loving these for last minute lunches or dinners if you can get your hands on some of this 10 out of 10 would recommend it's really amazing stuff and it's so so fast and simple to cook up i will show you outside the reason i am cooking this with the broccoli is because i'm going to be grilling and i'm going to be using the side burner on my grill to fry up this fish because fried fish indoors is like not the best thing the smell definitely lingers so i like to do it outdoors pretty much whenever i can so that's going to be great to go with our broccoli i also am going to make a garlic chive kind of like an omelet just to go alongside the meal and we'll have a nice complete meal that way. So a couple more notes about this fish because we're just so in love with it. A couple other reasons why we love it is because it's been salted before it was frozen, which means that it stays really moist even after you fry it. And I like to really fry it until it's super, super crispy because then any of those smaller bones, you can just eat right through them and you don't have to pick them out. And that just makes it easier to eat. And because it's on the smaller side and they're like super flat, they cook up really quickly. I'm just gonna do four minutes on each side and then two minutes on each side again after that. And that should be plenty to get it nice and crispy. And I don't need to coat it with flour or anything. I just fry this up in some vegetable oil just as it is. You could probably even fry it from frozen if you wanted to, but they defrost so quickly that I don't see a need for that. But yeah, we're gonna cook this up. It's been one of our favorite kind of like special things to have along with dinner recently. And we only have one more after tonight. So I think we're gonna have to go find some more of these to stock the freezer with. I don't even think it has to be croaker. I think you can have like multiple kinds of fish with this kind of preparation, just as long as it's been salted before. So yeah, we're just gonna see what they have next time we go to the store.
So here is the finished meal. We have our grilled broccoli. You can see it's got a nice char. I'm gonna squeeze that lemon juice over it as well. Got our delicious fried fish. I also have a Japanese sweet potato that I baked earlier today. Our garlic chive, egg, omelet thing, some rice, and some winter melon soup. So that's the whole meal. We have a thousand flies flying around here right now. So we're bringing all of this inside. I just had to get the shot in the natural light first, you know? So that is it, our beautiful homegrown survivor broccoli. And we're gonna go eat inside away from all the flies. <laughs> Thank you.